Electronic cigarettes, or e-cigarettes, are a product that gives great difficulty to us as clinicians in trying to help our patients to get off tobacco. Here are some of the concerns about electronic cigarettes. First, there's been an enormous increase in the use of these products by youth and young people. One thing we know for sure is that we don't want youth using any products that include nicotine. The second is that there's clearly nicotine exposure in the side stream vapor from e-cigarettes. Thirdly, we don't yet know if e-cigarettes help combustible tobacco smokers to quit. Fourthly, there is concern about the long-term health effects of e-cigarettes. Because we haven't had them for a great period of time, we just don't know if they have any long-term health risks. And finally, dual use. The increasing proportion of e-cigarette users who also continue to use combustible tobacco. Our goal is to get people off combustible tobacco, and if e-cigarettes result in them continuing to use combustible tobacco, clearly that is not an individual or public health goal we go for. With all of those concerns said, what we can say about the safety of e-cigarettes is that they appear to be significantly less harmful than combustible or burnt cigarettes. Do we say that they're entirely safe? No, we just can't say that. But they clearly are less harmful in the acute period, the period while they're using them, than combustible tobacco smoke. So that brings us to what do we say to our patients who turn to us asking, what should I do about using e-cigarettes to help me to quit? And I'm going to summarize some information from an article in the New England Journal of Medicine that we published a couple years ago. And that article summarized four ways to respond to a patient that says, Doc, what about e-cigarettes to help me to quit? The first point I make to all of my patients is this. Any tobacco product use is harmful, but without question, the most harmful tobacco product is when you burn tobacco. By burning tobacco, we generate more than 5,000 chemicals, 50 of which are carcinogens, and it's that burning process that causes such harm to smokers. Second, I tell smokers who are thinking about quitting, use the treatments that have evidence to support them. We know that the counseling that we as a clinician can provide will help smokers to quit. We know that calling the quit line, 1-800-QUIT-NOW, can help smokers to quit. And finally, the seven FDA-approved medications have been shown to be both safe and effective in helping smokers to quit. And we in particular recommend varenicline in combination nicotine replacement, the patch and the lozenge, as the two most effective medicine treatments for people thinking about quitting. The third point I make when I talk to smokers about e-cigarettes is after telling them the most important thing they can do is to stop all combustible tobacco use, if they come back and tell me, I can't do that right now, doc, I urge them to cut down on their combustible tobacco use. And in particular, I urge them to start using some nicotine replacement therapy. Because for many smokers, even those not yet ready to quit, if they're willing to cut down and willing to try NRT, that may give them the confidence to move forward and then be able to quit for good. And then the last of these four points, if we have a patient that wants to use e-cigarettes to help them to quit. 
if the patient is already using these cigarettes or is thinking about using and has said to us that they don't want to try the evidence-based treatments that we've recommended, then what I tell them is these products are probably safer than combustible tobacco use, but we cannot say that they're entirely safe because we just don't know. And the worst thing they could do is use e-cigarettes to continue to use combustible tobacco smoke. They should use them as a bridge to get from burnt tobacco to neither burnt tobacco nor e-cigarettes. If they use it in that way, particularly for a limited period of time, and they're able to successfully stop using combustible cigarettes, then that would be a positive step for their health. Helping our patients to quit smoking is one of the most important things we can do as clinicians in terms of improving our patients' health, both today and tomorrow. We're all committed to helping every one of our patients to quit smoking. We have an enormous array of treatments that have been shown to be safe and effective and e-cigarettes just bring new uncertainty to that challenge. But I believe that with the treatments we know that are effective, and with a clear message to our patients that if they're going to use e-cigarettes, it should not be along with combustible tobacco use, and it should be a, for a brief period of time, that I think we could do is significant good to help our patients to break free of the addiction that puts them at such great risk.